Coming off major significant victories in last night's Republican primaries, it looks like Donald J. Trump is set to be the Republican nominee for the 2016 presidential election. But in this video, I wanted to talk about all the rumors, all the speculation that has been going around with Donald Trump's involvement with secret societies. In this video, we're going to go over some of the latest news and give you a full picture of just how secret societies really do pull the strings behind closed doors. Now, Newt Gingrich recently on Fox News when asked why the Republican establishment is not endorsing Donald J. Trump, he had this to say. Donald Trump becoming the leader of the party, and it absolutely drives him crazy. Uh, they just cannot why? imagine sharing. Well, because he's an outsider. He's not them. He's not part of the club. He's uncontrollable. Uh, you know, he hasn't been through the initiation rights. He didn't belong to the secret society. He doesn't belong in the secret societies. He hasn't been through the initiation rituals. Well, Newt Gingrich is pretty much an expert on secret societies since he is a part of Bohemian Grove, a secret society that meets once a year outside of San Francisco where they have mock child sacrifices, where they wear robes like Emperor Palpatine, ship in male prostitutes, and pretty much concede and give all their power to the Dark Force. This, is, this sounds like just an insane conspiracy theory, but we tried to get clarity from Newt Gingrich, since there's photos of him there at the yearbook, what actually happens there? When will he open up and give some clarity, give some information about the Bohemian Grove? This is me talking to Newt Gingrich. It's a simple question. When are you going to open up on the Bohemian Grove? Bye-bye. You might as well just answer the question. It's going to be a lot easier. People are just going to, it's going to be on YouTube. People are just going to speculate that there's something wrong unless you tell us there's nothing wrong. Come on. Come on. New York Post says uh, that male prostitutes are shipped in into the Bohemian Grove. Can you tell us what happens there? Do you actually believe all this junk? Bill Clinton said that Republicans run around naked in the woods there. And you don't want to know what Richard Nixon said about the place, the place you attended. It's a secret society. Can you tell us at least who invited you? <laughs> you know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives. What's this picture of? I actually don't remember. Let's see you at the Bohemian Grove. Okay. You told me that uh, uh, I'm delusional. Yeah. So you were there. Can we talk to you about it, sir? Uh, Any answers on the Bohemian Grove? You no. never want to talk to me about it. I'm not going to stop asking the question. I talked to this man about six different times, asked him about 40 times. 40 times I asked him, what did you do at the Bohemian Grove? He actually autographed the picture of him there, and he still thought I was insane living in a fairy tale land by asking him real legitimate questions what happens at this secret society where the most powerful people in entertainment in media in banking in the corporate world and in government meet secretly once a year and do all this crazy weird satanic rituals obviously newt gingrich is an expert and he has come out and said donald trump is not a part of these secret societies he has not been a part of the rituals the initiation rituals which obviously allow politicians to have dirt on each other and trust each other in a circle that's how power works that's why they do all these weird satanic things they they just some of the weird stuff that secret societies that the most powerful people in society are involved in they do the weirdest craziest stuff in order to have dirt on each other in order to protect each other to make sure there's a bond of secrecy with each other now of course new gingrich just came out we have people within the cfr also attacking uh donald trump it looks like donald trump is not a part of any secret society or has any connection to them right well no no no, no. We have Roger Stone, former Trump advisor, saying that Newt Gingrich would actually be a great VP candidate for Donald Trump. We also have Donald Trump coming out and saying that he really respects and he gets his advice from Richard Haas. Now, who is Richard Haas? Richard Haas is the president of the Council on Foreign Relations. He is a well-known Bilderberg member. He has served George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush when they were in power. And according to Richard Haas' spokesperson, Richard Haas briefed Trump on foreign policy in August of 2015. And now Trump is saying on national television that he really respects Richard Haas, that he gets his advice from 
this man, who is the president of the Council on Foreign Relations, which many people say is the nation's most influential foreign policy think tank group in the United States. This is what Dick Cheney had to say about this quasi-secret society. So on foreign relations, as uh, Pete mentioned, I've been a member for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. Obviously be... keeping it secret that he was a large proponent of the Council on Foreign Relations. The Council on Foreign Relations was actually started in 1921 by Warburg, by J.P. Morgan, by Rockefeller as a front group to get more power and control to establish a new world order. And according to their very own members, like Richard Gardner, he said, and I quote, the new world order will have to be built from the bottom up rather than from the top down. But in the end run around national sovereignty, eroding it piece by piece will accomplish much more than the old fashioned frontal assault. The main goal of the Council on Foreign Relations is a front group for all the bankers, for the real people behind the scenes who are pulling the strings to push their globalist agenda of full power, of full control over you. Harper's even said, that the most powerful clique in these CFR groups has one objective in common. They want to bring around the surrender of sovereignty and the national independence of the United States. They want to end national boundaries and racial and ethnic loyalties, supposedly to increase business and ensure world peace. What they strive for would inevitably lead to dictatorship and loss of freedom by the people. The CFR was founded for the purpose of promoting this armament and submergence of United States sovereignty and national independence into an all-powerful one-world government. And that's exactly what Richard Haas, in his own words, is saying in his own publications. Richard Haas said this, States must be prepared to cede some sovereignty to world bodies. Globalization thus implies that sovereignty is not only becoming weaker in reality, but that it needs to become weaker. You could see this. This article by Richard Haas is going to be in the description below, ultimately calling for the destruction of American freedom, of American sovereignty, in order to have a globalist banking corporate one world government, which is the pure agenda of these globalists, these secret societies, and Donald Trump is capitulating, going on national television, saying that, yes, Richard Haas advises me. He is well respected. His advisor is saying that Newt Gingrich would make a great VP candidate. And he also said that John Bolton, the former ambassador to the United States under George W. Bush, the former war criminal who helped get us into war with Iraq, is also just great on foreign policy. This is who Donald Trump is being advised in, and that's why maybe you're seeing him flip-flop so much. That's why you're seeing him saying that, yeah, we should torture people, we should kill the families of terrorists, and then flip-flopping and saying, no, we probably shouldn't do that, and now he's back again just two hours ago, Trump on torture, we have to beat the savages. Obviously, secret societies have a lot of control within our world. They are a major force to be reckoned with. And with Donald Trump coming up, looking like he will be the nominee for the Republicans in 2016, you could see the power play happening behind the scenes. But the very fact that one of his former advisors says that Newt Gingrich would be a great VP, the very fact that he worships and respects Richard Haas, the very fact that he considers a war criminal like John Bolton a part of his national security team is extremely worrisome to say the least because all these men are interconnected with the Bohemian Grove, with the Council on Foreign Relations, with the Bilderberg Group, the establishment behind the scenes that really pulls the strings in this world and we're seeing it proven to us with their very own statements. These are exciting times to be around. Obviously this is not mentioned by the mainstream media. So share this video with your friends so they get a full picture of what's really happening in this world and again thank you so much for watching Real and Independent Media funded and done for you and by you. Thank you again so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.